ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. You clicked onto the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 10th day of December. After a remarkable rain and storm event, Last night and this morning, now the attention turns to the possibility of snowflakes around here tomorrow. Uh, the action nonstop around here this week. Let's take a look at some Skycam shots around the network this morning. First off, the view from Gadsden, where rain is falling now. And what a rain event. You'll see some of the storm totals here shortly, but some spots had over five inches of rain last night. There's the view coming from Mount Chihaw. South of Anniston, rain falling there this morning, and the streets are still wet up in Walker County in downtown Jasper, where the rain is still coming down. Well, what a trough off to the west. You can see the uh, st thunderstorms in advance of the trough over the uh, eastern part of Alabama this morning. In fact, even as I do this update at uh, 530, we've still got uh, a tornado warning for Tallapoosa County. So very active weather continues, and of course, what happens when that cold core trough passes through here tomorrow? Hmm. There's a look at our tornado watch until 8 o'clock this morning. That includes a pretty good chunk of east, central, and southwest Alabama, basically from Mobile to Anniston. And the rain extends as far northwest as uh, Fayette and Cullman. And again, there's a look at some of the tornado warnings early this morning. At, at that point, St. Clair County was under a tornado warning. I grabbed this image about 5 o'clock. Uh, Lowndes and uh, Montgomery counties were as well. And all of those green counties, those are flash flood warnings. And that does include Jefferson. The uh, convective outlook for the rest of today got a slight risk down south over South Alabama, but uh, the severe weather risk is winding down and the attention turns to the cold core upper low coming in here. Here's the expected rain around the country for the next five days. And of course, this counts the rain we had last night and whatever falls tomorrow. And uh, this is suggesting two to three inches. And I'm telling you, some spots, again, last night had over five inches. Check out the storm total coming from the Birmingham Next Rad, a, a band from Reform to Fayette. Also, a large part of uh, Marion and Winston counties. Our uh, Guin Sky Cam had uh, over five and a half inches of rain. And, uh, again, all of that area up there with over four inches, just really remarkable. And, of course, the lights, the amounts taper off as you go down to the south. Uh, in my place in Shelby County, as I do this update, my uh, rain gauge here is showing 2.09. And a good steady rain is still falling. And look at this. <laughs> this is the snow accumulation map for tomorrow. And, and technically, this is the probability of at least four inches of snow. And yeah, we see that big old circle over Mississippi. And uh, we just have to wonder about that. That'll be the big story. On the watch warning map this morning, we've got uh, uh, still the tornado watch in a series of winter weather advisories and wind advisories around here. And the National Weather Service in Jackson has issued a winter storm watch for a pretty good chunk of Mississippi for tomorrow. And uh, we'll talk about that. Here's the GFS. This is the 060 run, valid at noon today. Trough axis is still off to the west. The rain should gradually taper off today, but it's still going to fall this morning. And then tomorrow, the cold core upper low rotates right through Alabama. Reminiscent of an event in December 1997, where it snowed eight inches in parts of Mississippi and six inches into West Alabama around Livingston, York, and Demopolis down in the Black Belt. Now, let's get underneath that. This is the GFS look. And understand, there's not a lot of polar air around here. In fact, there's not any. All of the cooling will be dynamic coming from above. At midday tomorrow, the GFS has the surface low east of Atlanta. And that zero degree line, that is the freezing line at uh, 850 millibars, about 5,000 feet off the ground. And that suggests the better chance of the uh, snow would be from near the Golden Triangle of Mississippi, Columbus, West Point, Tupelo, Starkville, then down through southwest Alabama. But really the heaviest precipitation there right around uh, uh, Columbus, Mississippi, and then over into uh, Lamar County, Alabama. And, you know, with these upper-level lows, we have seen some amazing things happen. What about the NAM 
Very similar. The model agreement is pretty good. Uh, the NAM, again, has that little magic spot where maybe the heaviest precipitation and the colder temperatures at 5,000 feet will be over West Alabama. Millport, Kennedy, Reform, Gordo, Tuscaloosa, maybe. Wow. So I think you can't ignore that. We have to mention the chance of some rain late tonight after midnight with the potential for the rain to change to snow during the day tomorrow. Looks like the better chance might be along that U.S. 43 corridor from Tuscaloosa to Mobile, where the air aloft will be the coldest, as crazy as it sounds. But the model consistency is very good. But remember, these are very tough to forecast. Uh, the, the possibility is there. I think we will see some snowflakes in the state. Some people will love it. Some people will be horribly disappointed. And then Friday, the whole thing is gone. It's uh, cool and dry. Saturday, starting off the weekend, the same thing. Weather cool and dry, highs in the 50s. Sunday, get a return flow. Uh, moisture increases, but we'll leave it dry. We'll call it partly sunny in Monday of next week. A warm ridge begins to nose in from the Gulf. The cold upper-level system is out west. Going to be cold and unsettled out there in uh, California. And uh, that'll be kind of the battleground. We'll go out uh, four more days to the 19th, and it's the same deal. Warm ridge from the Gulf nosing in here. The polar air is just north of here. And then we'll go to Christmas Day, December 25th, the end of the forecast. Eh. If you're dreaming of a white Christmas, that's not going to work. Uh, the polar jet is up on the Canadian border, and that suggests a relatively pleasant Christmas Day with no really serious invasion of cold air. And that certainly has been the trend here in recent days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video, video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.